Having left Prize Hardwick, we meandered along the canal until we ultimately came down the Foxton Locks and moored up in Foxton, which was a bit of deja vu from four years ago. I hope you enjoy this video. My name's Marianne and I am part-time boater. That's the last of the Claydon locks. We have a fairly long stretch without locks now till we get to the next lock. Nobody's waving their arms. Talk to this man here and see what's happening. Excuse me, do you know what's going on? Well, we just want the lock. <laughs> just need this. I'll walk to the next. Right, so here we have Wigram's Turn. Napton Junction is also known as. And we've got Grand Union on the left. Grand Union there, and we have the Oxford carrying straight on. Right. We are anywhere. going straight on here, and like Peter just said, if you can hear it, we can stop anywhere. <laughs> I'll get off and hold it and you decide what you want to do. Right, so it's 9.43 now and we are just casting off from a very nice mooring in the middle of nowhere on the Oxford Canal. <laughs> possibly the Grand Union. Or possibly the Grand Union, yeah. <laughs> We're not too sure, but whatever it is, it's lovely. How many days of cruising does this make? This is the third day. Third day of cruising. And we are hoping to go through, well, we will go through the Braunston Tunnel today. Which? Braunston Tunnel? Yes, sorry. <laughs> From behind, it didn't sound like Braunston. Oh, okay. 
was it Bronsley or something, I think? No, definitely Bronston. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> With a stop at Midland Chandlery, if we can get there. If we can moor up there, I should say. Yes. <laughs> yes, we can get there. <laughs> yeah, we go straight past, but we actually want to stop in. I quite like having a mooch around there, actually. Yes. <laughs> if we've got time for a mooch. Yeah. We've had quite a few hire boats go past us this morning in the opposite direction to the way we're facing because Napton Narrowboats is behind us and they are all returning home. And because it's a Friday, we suspect that this afternoon will be chock block with new hire boaters beginning their holidays and I do hope they all have a lovely time. The ones that we've spoken to so far have all said they've really enjoyed their narrowboat holidays, which is lovely. Now this is our first wide beam that we've seen in ever such a long time because of course all the locks have been narrow locks since, well since Banbury really isn't it? Yes. This boat has some lovely flowers on the top, geraniums I think, and that looks like it might be squash, and green beans, I might try and go, grow some of those in my garden. So thus begins our third day of cruising on what looks to be another delightful day weather-wise. This morning, it's all go this morning. We've been like this at every bridge I've been through. <laughs> there does seem to be someone more yeah, there. Like trouble with this horn here, you can't, well, not the horn. People don't know which branch you're heading for. No, but just give everyone a heads up.
Braunston Tunnel, having done the Braunston flight. And I did the locks with another lady on Narabat Calypso. So it all went very smoothly. cruising after one day of rest in the rain. Didn't want to be moving in the rain. And here we go. So here we are at the bottom of the Watford Locks and there's a bit of a queue. There's um, volunteers operating the locks and there are two boats in the pound and they're letting them through one at a time so that there's not too many boats in the pound waiting to go up and down. So we are first in line to go in, and while we are, we're filling up with water. So I'm hoping we'll have a pretty smooth cruise all the way through. Well, this should be a treat. There's a steamboat in the lock, and it's just about to come out. So I thought I'd take some footage. It just went beep beep and I missed it. sound <laughs> so Peter's come out of lock one he's just coming into lock two of seven and there are volunteers and a young lad there who's just finished Northumbria University a degree in engineering well done to him He's hoping to get into the area. And this is middle pound or a middle pound. And there are lot three, four, and five that I can see. by volunteers. Sorry about the wind.
Are you wait? Are you waiting? Sorry. Oh, right. Fair enough. Thank goodness for that. I thought that's a long way back for the queue. <laughs> Was there a winding hole just here? Ah, right. There's another boat behind me, I'm afraid. Well, there was. <laughs> So this is Peter coming in to the first lock of Foxton Flight, Foxton Top Lock. We've had a wait of probably about an hour and this is where we're headed, all the way down there. We've had a bit of a wait as uh, I just mentioned. I don't know if you can see Peter coming in and me in shot as well. Yeah, I think you can. There we go. And it's turned out to be a really lovely day after all that rain at the beginning. So apparently there's a problem down below and the lock keeper from here has gone down to see what the problem is and how far down we can actually go. So I don't know if you can see they've all gone down. So there. she's coming back up now so hopefully we'll know soon what the situation is what the situation is I should say
I hope you enjoyed seeing the locks being done and the scenery and the journey down to Foxton. So until next week and next week's video, 